Hello friends, this video on hydrogen part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's talk about the isotopes of hydrogen. So there are three isotopes of hydrogen and before we study isotopes, let me uh, tell you the definition of isotopes. Once again, you have learned this in, the, uh, in your class 10. So isotopes are nothing but they have same atomic number but different atomic numbers. And that's why they have similar properties actually. So they, for hydrogen, there are three isotopes. This is protium, this is deuterium, and this is tritium. So for protium, if you see, there is one proton and one electron. This is electron. This guy is also electron. So for protium, there is one proton, one electron. For deuterium, there is one neutron. One proton, one electron. For Tritium, they are two neutrons, it's very heavy and that's why it is unstable and it is radioactive. We'll study uh, this later. Little heavy, it is unstable, so it is radioactive. This is also heavy, it's called heavy uh, hydrogen. Why? Because uh, it has more neutrons, so more atomic weight. So, the most abundant is this guy, protium. It has one proton, one electron. The next is uh, the heavy hydrogen or deuterium. It has two protons, sorry, one neutron, one proton, one electron. And then we have this tritium. It has two neutron, one proton, and one electron. So the proton and electron count is same, only the neutron count is increasing. Right? So we have protium denoted by H, one, one. We have Deuterium, also called heavy hydrogen, denoted by D. This is denoted by D. This is by H. And then we have uh, tritium, it's very rare, denoted by T. So I have H, D, and T. It's very rare and it is uh, uh, formed in the upper atmospheric atmosphere by the nuclear reaction and it is radioactive in nature. We'll, we'll study this later. If you see the property, if you compare the property, Hydrogen, that the protium, don't confuse it like we write here, this is protium and this is deuterium, this is D, this is H, and this is T, right? So uh, the hydrogen they have the most evident, 99.9% .9 is hydrogen, in fact 99.99% is my protium. Then you have very less uh, occurrence of deuterium and this is, you see it's a very rare, rare occurrence of tritium. This is electro, this is radioactive. If you talk about the atomic mass, this is almost atomic mass of 1, this is almost atomic mass of 2 and this is 3 because you are adding 1 neutron each. If you talk about the melting point, also in free, this is 13.96 uh, Kelvin, this is uh, 18.73, this is 20.62. For the boiling point, that's also increased, right? Because we have more neutrons there. Talk about density, also it increased because it is more heavy, right? If you go this side, the density, boiling point, and melting point increases. But if you see the abundance, this guy is most abundant in Earth. We are, this is we are talking about the Earth. We are not talking about the universe now. And if you talk about the physical and chemical properties, since the isotopes have same electronic configuration as, as and we explained this in the atom chapter that the chemical property did, did, uh, depends on the electronic configuration. They have same number of um, electrons, right? So they have same electronic configuration. So they have almost similar chemical properties, but the rate of reaction will differ. Correct. So. And the physical properties, if you see, if you talk about the melting and the boiling point, they differ slightly because there's a huge uh, mass difference, right? If you see, this is atomic mass one, this is almost two, this is three. It's almost double. It's almost double again, right? So the, the difference is huge. If you talk about other elements where we have one extra proton on neutrons, for example, one has atomic mass, let's suppose 80. So if you add extra neutron, it becomes 81, it becomes 82. Extra neutrons, I'm adding it, right? To, become, to give different isotopes. So you see the relative atomic mass uh, difference is 
less, right? So only it is, if you talk about percent, it is not even 1% difference, right? But if you talk about this, this is 50% or 100% actually. One became two. Here also two to three, it's almost 60%. So the, the difference is huge when you're talking percentage. And that's why the physical properties differ in this case, in this case of isotope, but in other isotopes, if you see, the physical property doesn't differ much because if you add one uh, neutrons to create new isotope, the atomic mass difference, the difference is still one, but the uh, but the percentage wise, if you see, it's very, very less, so maybe 1.5 percent here. Yeah, or 1.25 actually to be specific. And here it is almost 100 percent and 60 percent. So there's a huge difference in the physical power. Okay. So thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.